Well, hello there. I decided to do this as a live haul. Well, because it's just easier that way. But you notice I'm not in my normal settings. I am in what is going to be the eBay workroom because my goal is that no product goes beyond those doors right there. That's the goal. I've already moved my uh, my label printer in here. So I'm shipping my labels. I mean, I'm shipping my labels. I'm printing my labels for my shipping in here. And that way there's the front door, goes out the door into the car. Um, we're getting there, we're getting there. So all of the stuff I got from this online auction that I purchased at is was right here in this room. And normally what I would have done is hauled it all back to my office. I should say back there, back there. And um, I would have dealt with it there. But I wanted to show you what I got. Now, um, I just just looking at my invoice. I actually spent a little bit over 800, so not quite 900. Um, it actually was $688 until they add on the 18% buyer's premium, which was another 124 bucks. So it was about 100 or $812, $812. So a little more, but I did not spend, I had one thing that, I'm going to show you my big, big, gigantic mistake. Okay. In a little bit. Um, I got to show you my, my wins first. <laughs> because <laughs> Thank goodness. I did so good on all the other stuff because I really did something stupid. And I'm going to share that with you as we get into this. Now I don't have two monitors and I'm not sure what sharing my screen is going to look like if I go to look something up. We may test the waters there. We may test the waters there. Hello, everyone. I see you showing up in the chat. If you're watching this on the replay, I did do this as a live. And if you missed it, make sure you're subscribed and you hit the little bell notification so it tells you when I go live. I usually go live on Mondays and Fridays at 1 p.m., but every now and then I sneak one in like this. So if you're subscribed and hit the and set the bell for all, it'll tell you. Hello, Jacqueline. I'm just I was just reading what you said over there. Um, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that the videos inspire you. Just keep going. Keep going. It gets better. It gets better. Anybody in Texas? Does anybody have power and on here from Texas? Oh my goodness. Oh. I can't even believe Texas right now. I was thinking about moving to Texas. And I'm, I'm having some second thoughts. All right. Let's see how I can make this work. Now, this is a set of... Well, that's interesting. Oh! See, this is what happens when you buy from online auctions, auctions without preview. Okay. Kind of a nice little wall thing. And it's been rewired. So... You can see where it's been snipped and a new cord put on there. It's like a brand new cord. So this is usable. The thing that they didn't really make known in the pictures is look at that. Oh man. But I didn't pay very much for this. The fixture itself is pretty awesome. Um, it is an old piece. That is that is a weird way for glass to break. I'm just trying to figure out how that glass broke. I mean, if you put the wall sconce to the back, I could still sell these down at the booth for pretty decent money because it is usable. But I'm thinking it's, I don't know, 40s? What would you guys say? Let me. Can you guys hear my heater running in the background? I have a heater because this room got really cold. Yeah, the shades can be replaced. That's kind of a bummer trying to see what I paid for it. I paid, oh, I'm gonna pay nine bucks for it. It's worth it. Oh, some of you are getting the water back in Texas. Yay. Oh, I'm telling you. Yeah, it is a little art deco. It is a little art deco, but it looks like it's maybe, it's a little later than art deco though, because it looks like it's on the verge of going Art Nouveau. All right, so I got that. Oh, oh, got this. I got into a bit of a frenzy on this 
Oh, it's an art box. I know why I bought this. Of course I know why I bought this. So it's an art box and it's pretty dirty, but it came with all of these old oil paints too. And uh, as you know, Rachel, I'm trying to figure out how this part. Oh, this opens here. The box is pretty cool. Oh, and this, okay. So it's got the palette, the wood palette. It slides out of there. There's some oil paints back in there. It needs a good cleaning, but this is an old box. This is an old dust box. So we just put that aside over here. Um, and then it came with, oh my goodness. All these are in really bad shape. Now, again, no preview. Hopefully there's some of this that is usable. Um, yeah, I'm not even sure these a little disappointing. Yeah, there's some that's usable. I'll tell you what I paid for it in a minute. There's some little, these are kind of interesting to hold the paint. Poppy oil bleached and some Rapidol quick drying medium and some some more oil to put over the oil kind of thing. All right, well, you know what? The box, the box has value. Let me pile that over there. It's dirty. Hello, Mary Ramsey from Nebraska. I'm glad you made it live. Yeah, I decided to do this a little bit earlier in the day. Um, what did I pay for that? I paid, I didn't pay much, $7. I paid $7 for that. So even if there is one of those tubes of oil paint, that's still good. It's worth it. Okay. And look, what really excited me was this stuff came in banana boxes. Just got to say, I'm kind of a fan of the banana boxes now. Thank you, crazy lamp lady. It's not really a thing over here on the West Coast. You don't run into banana boxes very often. All right, I got a bag of, oh, some of these feel like stereo cards. Okay, this one, let's say. So I got a bunch of these <clears throat> old photos here. Oh, this was a postcard that actually was had some writing on it on the back. That's always fascinating. Let's see. Oh, well, there's a happy couple. Everybody always looks so miserable in their pictures. That's also on a postcard. Uh, February 1913. Alice was age 16 and Glenn was age 20. There you go. Boy. 16 year olds had to uh, grow up fast, huh? Let's see, here's a, a lady. So I guess that was customary. You put the pictures on a postcard. Hmm, well, here's one that's a regular little, this is a little girl. This fine lady, you know what? My camera likes to, uh, focus a little better in here because it doesn't know what to focus on behind me. This Mononk Gill is what's on this uh, little frame. Yeah. Ooh, this one's cool. Instant Ancestors is what we call these. Circa 1900 is written in pencil on the back. Circa 1900 on these ladies. Just nobody looks happy. Nobody looks happy. That makes me sad. And then what is this? In loving remembrance of Susanna Armistead, age 67 years. She died July 17th, 1889. 1889. So I got this whole baggie. 
Ooh, this one's numbered. I can find this one really quick. Six bucks. Six bucks. So these will be in my live sale. Oh, by the way, you guys all have a little power here. So if you see anything you want me to put in tomorrow's live sale, by all means, let me know. Because I, I, I can't get all of this stuff in the live sale, but I am happy to put some requested items in there. Oh, the pictures on postcards were quite common. Okay. But I'm thinking these will be in the live sale tomorrow. As a lot, I'll sell them all together. And I start the live sales at $1 bidding. You guys get to decide. All right, we've got some more ephemera. And then this lot I paid, I did pay $15 for this lot. And I'll show you why. This is a lot of vintage cards. Look at that. It's a little, now unfortunately, they put the stamp. Um, this is October 31st, 1979. They put the stamp right on the front, but it's unused. So I thought that was a little weird, but still that little kitty. These are all little vintage cards, little hallmarks. This one is used. Here's a very little kitten with a special wish to say to a very little someone who is one year old today. And then they're all kind of animal themed, which I'm a sucker for. But all cute little vintage. Oh, look at this one. It's got the little piggies on the seesaw. And the little piggies on the back. Oh, we got another little one year old. Oh, this one's like Easter themed. Oh, this one's got the little pop up. Boop, boop, bunnies. And this one has the felt. So his little chaps and his hat are textured with felt. These are all, what would you say? What, what's the time frame of these? Made in USA is all it says. It doesn't give me a year. I'm not super familiar, but I know, I know you guys like the old ephemera stuff. So this is also flocked as I just got told over in the chat that it's called. So this is a flocked card as well. Forget me not card from Cleveland. 1950s. Okay. All right. 50s, 60s. But there's a lot of cards here, you know, so I thought the $15 was worth it. Here's another flocked one with a little chicky doodle on it. I'm going to be doing an, a spring and Easter themed sale in a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks? A couple of weeks. When is Easter? I don't even know what day Easter is this year. Who can tell me when Easter is this year? there's a whole bunch of little Easter cards in here with the little sheepies inside and one envelope oh this was for a hollow another Halloween one very vintage Halloween when spooks go haunting and skeletons dance would I forget you not a ghost of a chance best witches for a happy Halloween that one's unused it is April 14th. Okay. All right. So a couple weeks, we're going to do the spring, spring themed. I don't have time to pull it off for tomorrow. And then I am going to San Diego um, the week after that. So this is another one that's, oh no, I thought he was flocked. He's not, he's just cute. He's just cute. All right. A couple more and we'll move on to something else. More Easter and more Halloween. All right, so not bad for 15. Did I do okay on those? I'm not an ephemera person, but I know you guys like the ephemera. So I got that. April 14th. Oh, April 4th? Oh, wait, I was reading 14th. So it's April 4th. So I really need to do it in two weeks. Okay, I'm on it. 
All right. I bought the, I don't know why I bought, why did I buy this? I don't know because it's vintage and it's old and it's cool. Now I think I did look this up and um, it is a working candy thermometer by air guide. But I pay for that. I don't know. I, I, I went a little crazy. I think I was bored or something. I just kept bidding on everything and then winning for crazy low prices. So sometimes you just, you just got to do that. I can't even find on here. It's a four, four page. Did I buy it with something else? Maybe I did. I don't know. I can't find it. I hate when that happens. It's on here. All right. I'll never get through this if it takes me this long to find one thing. We must keep going. Have to keep swimming. Oh, here it is. Five bucks. Paid five bucks for it. Five bucks for that. All right. I'm probably not going to look up what I paid for each thing. I was in the, like the five to ten dollar range on pretty much everything. Um, this is a hair receiver. The ladies, after they brushed their hair, they used to save the hair that would fall off in these little jars. And I forget what they used to do with it. I mean, the obvious thing would be like to say, oh, they made wigs, but they didn't. Did they make little hair piece? What did they do with that hair? I know you guys know. What did they do with that hair? Um, this is Nippon. It is marked Nippon on the bottom there. There we go. And since that has a number on it, I can look that one up really quick. I paid $6 for the, oh, wow. now they say it has a hairline. It does have a hairline crack. Darn it all. Look at that. It's okay. So we'll be okay. With that. I bought some Jeanette pink glass just because I like it. <laughs> they used to sew it into clothing. Okay. Sew it into clothing. It was like a love token. Gotcha. Your wife's family found a mound of hair in an old trunk after one of the ancestors died. Oh my, my hair falls out so bad. You guys like I would fill up one of those jars probably every few days. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. These are Jeanette glass. They're pink milk glass, which is Jeanette was the big company that did the pink look at how awful my nails are oh lord have mercy don't look at my nails my nails need to go get done i've been working <laughs> there we go we'll do that um but these are neat they've got the little design on them there and the fact that there's a pair i paid 10 bucks for these 10 bucks for the Jeanette. the pink This little bird got tucked inside of a pincher and I'm not sure how I'm gonna get him out. I wish they hadn't done that because uh, this could get tricky. Hold on, stand by. Why would they do this? Why, 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 why? All right, now I'm a, I'm a little frustrated. There we go. Oh, we almost got him. Ah, oh, I got him out. Whoo! We saved the little bird. Look at he's a little quail. He's a little quail on a piece of driftwood. And then the pitcher um, says, "This is a really pretty. Made in Italy, I do believe. No, take that back. Yeah, it is Italian." And Cora, made in Italy. Uh, oh, the rest is just like ceramic art 
artist. It's in Italian. <laughs> I don't read Italian, but that's it. I just thought that was a really pretty vase. And that one I paid six bucks for. Six bucks. I'm going to run out of room here really quick. You know, once you start placing bids and buying and it's like everything starts looking better and better. And I don't advise my style of buying. <laughs> These ladies are also friends of mine and I'm trying to be supportive and not let their stuff go too cheap too. Oh, you want me to put the pink milk glass in the sale? I can do that. I can do that. This is a really nice little pottery. I can tell it's it's hand turned. It's got the coils. It's got coils inside and out. It is signed on the bottom by the artist. Probably will never figure out who that artist is. I will sell it on the fact that it's just a pretty piece with purple flowers. And this was five bucks five bucks how could i not buy that and then this piece is picard is it picard or picard i know i saw oh my nails are so embarrassing i saw a piece at um, the thrift store and i actually looked up the name and i saw it was a good name and i think that's why i picked this up because that kind of struck in my memory banks as being a decent and I paid five bucks for it. Yep. Five bucks. Oh, there's something down here you guys are going to like. All right, that I did not buy alone. Hold on. Let me find what else went with that. Some of this stuff was grouped up into lots of stuff. Okay, 547, which are you? So this is a little inkwell and it's made of stone, which I'm not sure I've seen one, you know, made of stone. Now it would have had a little glass insert in there, but how cool is that? You can tell it's old by the hardware and the way it's put together. Look at the, look at the back, the hinges. And uh, there's the bottom, five bucks. I need five bucks for it. Ooh, purple flower vase in the sale. You want the purple flower vase. Okay, I try to save some of the purple for mystery boxes. You can't believe when I send out those questionnaires how many people have a favorite color as purple. I bought a bucket of shells and I mostly bought it because of this piece. Really hard to find the fan coral. I think I paid like five bucks for, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm never going to get my fish tank set up. See my fish tank, whoop, ka -ching. See my fish tank right there. Um, yeah, I'm never gonna get that running. I keep hoping found another beautiful piece of stretch glass. See there, this one's really got the stretch to it. Look at that. Woo, doggies. Yowza. Um, they're calling this Jeanette 1925. That's what they had on their tag. And they had it priced at $56 in their store. Their store went out of business with the whole shutdown thing. I paid 10 bucks. 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Okay, we're going to put you where you'll be safe. You go up there. I got some little jars. Um, I know I only paid like $4 for these. I remember bidding on these because nobody else wanted them. But I thought, 
they're cute little jars. They held ink, like for the inkwell. I thought, yeah, I'll take a chance. One says Sanford's and the other is gold metal poster paints. So I got those. I got a really nice piece. I don't have my black light, but I will guarantee you this little piece right here glows. And I'll put this in the sale tomorrow and I will have my black light to show you that it glows. I don't know who makes this or what the pattern is, but I will do a little research and try to have that info by tomorrow. I was looking, I thought for a second it had a crack and I'm like, no, you know, it might have one little, I can't tell if that's an occlusion in the glass. I think it's an occlusion in the glass. Maybe, I don't know. It might be, it might be a little, a little bad spot. Now, see what this tells me is I have to be extremely careful buying from this auction um, because there's broken stuff. Ugh. Now, I know I would not have bought these by themselves. So this had to have gone with something else, a little pair of baby booties. This says Anne Klein. Oh, it's a necklace. So I did get, this is not an Anne Klein. This is the Trafari set. That's right. I did buy a really nice Trafari set with the earrings and the necklace. And the necklace is what? It's broken. No way. The link is there. Okay, see, now I'm getting a little perturbed because I think I paid up for this one. $5.50. Oh, I paid $21 for that. Now I'm going to have to find somebody who can fix it. Hmm. I'm telling you. Oh, here's some more. Here's some more purple. This is by Royal Albert. It's a Royal Albert piece. And I guess the Sweet Violets is very, very desirable in the Royal Albert. I mean, I look this stuff up while I'm bidding. Sometimes that could have been bad. I'm like in this breaking mode, I guess, lately. All right. We'll save that little stuff. Put you aside. Right. And this is definitely glowy glass. It is a uranium glass cake plate. I was planning on putting this in the sale tomorrow as well. So we've got that. Yeah, I'm a little bummed about some of this stuff. I know. The problem is it's very costly to send it to Melissa's repair shop because Melissa is in Canada. We might have to, getting it there is not so bad because I send packages to you all the time. It's getting it back. All right, let's see. But we'll see. Next, I got some amber glass. I think this was all in one lot. Yes, you hear me blanking it around. So it has this old amber bottle in it, which I thought was really cool. Just the way that one's done. And we've got a second one that's interesting. You can see it's blown glass. And then this is the piece that I really bought it for. These are usually Blanco, these double vases. This is a really good sized one. It's not clear. It does have a little hint of amber to it, as you can see there. Or the Rachel repair shop. Maybe Rachel could fix it. Maybe she could. 
you have a box filling up for a trip to Nevada. Well, okay, well maybe it'll slip in and see what we can do. I don't know why I picked these up because I just like them. I don't know what it is about them that just gives me warm fuzzies. I don't know. It's seventies. It's very seventies glass. Um, I believe this is a Blanco sunflower bowl. Ooh, look how the light shines through that. That's nice. So I believe this one is Blanco. That over there. I picked up a bunch of linen too, which I'll show you in a second. I've got a nice little blue apothecary jar. Um, this piece, okay, this is a great teaching piece. So you hear the word controlled bubble a lot. Now, technically, you can say controlled bubble in your title on this piece. Because they're bubbles that are technically, it had to be controlled to put it into the glass. So meaning it was purposely put into the glass. Um, it is not high quality controlled bubbles as you would see on Murano. This is probably Mexican blown glass. A lot of people still like it. It just does not have the same value as when you see the bubbles very, very tightly, finely controlled. Um, I can tell it's Blanco just because I know from past research and stuff that that shape, that form is a Blanco form. Yep. You've heard it called jelly glass. Oh, your uranium glass is now being called jelly glass. I've heard it called Vaseline glass, which is not what it is. Vaseline glass is um, the color of Vaseline. It's truly like that creamy greenish tint but not quite green kind of a, a thing that's vaseline that's how it got its name nope the green uranium glass is not vaseline glass it is not and that's funny because usually the the vaseline glass snobs will be the first ones to tell you it's not because they hate when somebody calls it Vaseline glass. True. Oh. Okay, apparently they use the linens to wrap glass. So let's be careful there, Danny. Oh, this is cute. You guys will like this one. It's a swirly piece. Let's see if they called it something. It's got the number on it. I can match it to the invoice really quick. Blue and white swirl tumbler. That's all they called it paid six bucks for it. I like it. See the bottom there. I don't think it's that old. Then I got this little pair of little salts, Noritake salts that I thought were super cute. I'm hiding my nails. Got to show you marks without showing you my awful nails. I'm going to go get a manicure today. That is what I'm going to go do. I'm going to do it. I've been shamed into doing it now. Here's a little, little wood trinket box. Just a cute little wood trinket box. Okay. I'm finding saucers without their cups. So that means their cups are wrapped up in here somewhere. Uh -huh. I found cups. All right, we've got some cups and saucers. My daughter is 28, millennial. It's told me there's like this thing trending that you've started finding the younger people actually using the cute little teacups to use. This one's a Limoges. It's a Haviland Limoges. Where am I going to go with all this? And then this one, I don't know. Oh, it's Minton's. So it's a Minton's. 
teacup and saucer. And then this one is Royal Winchester. Royal Winchester. I watched a really good documentary the other night on the Royal Horses. So my friends who are also horse lovers, like myself, if you want something good to watch, it was on Hulu. Now this piece actually says recycled glass handcrafted in Mexico. Look at the color in that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I would not have guessed that this was recycled glass if it was not marked as such. I probably would have picked it up if I saw it at thrift store because I like it. This, this item is electronically protected. Ooh, it's got a thing so it can't get stolen on it. But isn't that pretty? This is where I start getting in trouble with stuff all over the place. And we have another piece of glass I'm pretty sure is going to glow. We will test that out tomorrow. Be sure you come to the sale and see if the glowy glass glows. <laughs> but sometimes you can just tell. It doesn't always glow. My, I suspect this one, they're calling it Fenton. So it may not glow, but we'll find out. I'm looking for like, oh, I have more stuff right in front of me I can show you. How about a fish? How about a, a little marble stone fish? I love the way he was carved. And I only paid, hold on, what did I pay for him? I paid six bucks for the fish. Six bucks for the fish. It's going back there. I got this. I know I got this for like five bucks because nobody was bidding, but it intrigued me. Look at the marbling in this. This is a really nice little stone vase. Probably alabaster. But uh, I picked that up for a good price. I'm going to try to see if I can clean it up a little bit. I'm not exactly sure what cleans this up. Anybody know how you clean up stone or alabaster or marble? It's one of those. I don't know what this came with, but it's a little glass, little sailfish, sail, sailboat. I don't know what's going on with my words. Just a little, little sailboat. Then I got more teacups here too. So I've got, let me match them up. Okay, so we've got Lady Hamilton, 22 karat gold. Look at that. Look at that. Which one, did, Tammy A, which one? The stone or the fish or the sailboat? Because remember, there's a delay, so I probably showed like two or three more things. Oh, your, your granddaughter's bridal shower will be a tea with all different old teacups wearing big fancy hats. That's awesome. I love that. Awesome. Um, this one just says made in Japan. I think that's a Noritake mark there, though. No, I'm not going to stack. I have not had good luck with the breakables lately. And then this one looks so 1950s to me. It says Sandra, 22 karat gold. But doesn't that look like... It's so 50s. So 50s. And oh, you guys are going to love this. You're going to love what I got, which I'm going to show you in a second. After I unwrap this glass. Ooh, we're down to one more box. These I just was intrigued by. Look at these. They're glass with flowers. They are pretty sure they're fused glass. I don't know. 
I don't know. They were very interesting. See there? But I got the pair of these for how much did I get the pair of those for? Um, ba -ba 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 -bom. Uh, eight bucks, eight dollars. But I just really like these and, and they probably are from Mexico. They've got some of the bubbles in them, but I don't care. They're pretty, pretty glass. Oh, one's heavy. Let's see what you guys are saying over there. The alabaster with the sea. Oh, seaweed base. Okay, sure. You got it. Yeah, I'll probably put the teacups and saucers in tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> bet they. Yes. I don't mind. I don't mind shipping teacups and saucers. Just one goes in a number four box really nicely. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm saving up all these linens to show you. Oh, I forgot. I, these didn't come from the auction. These came from a friend of mine who I ran into when I was down taking care of my booth, but he had all of these little Natsukis. Little Natsukis. I have seven. Some are animals. Animals. I will show you close-ups when I have my nails done. We'll just show far ways right now. <laughs> tomorrow you can see the close-ups. I'm going to put these in the sale tomorrow. Or maybe I'll wait for the jewelry sale. You know what? These might wait for the jewelry sale. But I have seven. Seven little Natsukis. Um, they're resin. They're, they're repro ones. Look at fun. Looks like, oh, Seiden Stricker. Oh, I will look into that. I will look into that. That would be awesome if they are. Okay, I got a bunch of little, like just little animal figures. We can do it without shining my nails. Uh, so we have a, a glass owl and a little turquoise horse head. And, ooh, what are you made of? Now, that cross hatching on there looks like it was purposely put there. Take my eyes out and it'll focus. Come on, show them. Look at that. Doesn't that look like it's done on purpose? Because that is a sign of ivory, but that, I don't know. That's a little too obvious. Little cast iron rocking horse. Oh, but the, see if I can do my best little French piece de, de la resistance. <laughs> look at these, a little glass parrot. Like, oh, is he missing a Got a broken foot. That's okay, because he has a home with us. We take in the rescues. He'll be staying with his little broken foot, which makes him not stand up. Oh yeah, he stands up. Got all those little guys. Ooh, I see some purple in this box. Okay, I got um, no blot ink pencils, crayons. Um, some colored, some really expensive barrel ver very thin colored pencils. Of course, you guys know who this is going to. Put that right there with the oil paints. I got lots of, I got more linens than I thought I got. Hmm. I had a lot of requests for linens, so I've been looking for linens. My nails are not great. My nails are pretty darn disgusting right now. <laughs> I don't like them. This is a Limoges, France. Trick jar. Or dresser jar, I guess. 
a vanity jar. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. That one I paid six bucks for. Great. It says it has a few chips. I don't see chips. Oh, there's one little chip on the rim and a little tiny chip on the you know, on the base. I'm used to seeing them on the base. That's pretty normal. One little tiny one. Doesn't affect it enough not to have bought it. I'm running out of room. All right. We're getting down to the bottom. Oh, fused glass. This was like funky 60s fused glass to me. Orange on the back. It was just fun. Just love that piece. And I'm not an orange person, but the colors in that just really made me happy. Happy. You've been doing your own nails while checking videos? Uh, it's my new little treat to myself is to just go have somebody else do them. I'm because I'm terrible at painting my own nails. So these have a little anchor on the bottom. Anybody know what that mark is? Should be a little anchor hawking, perhaps an older anchor hawking mark. A little set of candle holders. I'm not sure. Very 70s, very 70s. Another piece of the bubble glass. Oh, this is, look at, so look. Obviously, they left some of the charred part of the, what do you call it, the cane that they made the glass. I've never seen that happen before, but that is very interesting. Do I have any doily fans? I'm a sucker for doilies. So I'm starting to get a pile of them in my lap. A nice little blue cruet. Older for sure. Although it does have the plastic and not cork. But Oh, I meant to show you guys what I finally bought for myself. A real loop, a real loop, although it's really tiny. Oh my goodness. It's going to work though, but yes, I bought a loop. They've gathered and packaged all this stuff up for me. So this is the first time I'm seeing it in person right there with you. Oh, there must be two of those. Come on. I didn't buy just one of those. Maybe not. Maybe there's only one. All right. Ooh, crackle glass. So lots of makers did the crackle glass. This is purposely done with the crackling. The finer, tighter, more even the crackle is, the higher the quality. Um, different companies made it. Blanco, Pilgrim, Kanawa, uh, Rainbow. Those are like the biggies that did the, the crackle glass. So. That's actually a really nice piece. Okay. Oh, more flowers. More flower dishes. So got that one. And then also have some blue ones. I like those. You guys like those? Again, very 60s, 70s. Don't lose the loop. I know. You know me too well. Yeah, I never take it thrifting with me, though. Probably should. My eyes are getting worse by the day. So oh, all this green glass came together. Um, I don't normally pick these up, and I know I wouldn't have been on these alone. So these came with something else. 
These are little tea light holders. They might glow though. I'm gonna have to check them. They might glow. All right, Let's save. Another um, inkwell. This one doesn't have like a lid, but it's a really nice early American press glass inkwell. It's got some weight to it. Can you imagine the days of writing? Like you had to dip your pen and then now we're just it's all about your typing speed. And let's see, let's see here. Oh, there's two of them. Got two of those. I'll put those together in a lot. If you guys like antique glass, inkwell. I mean, they make really repurpose them to like little flower vases now. I wish I had some flowers this size to put in there. I sell them that way. I don't break them. I have big flowers. I make big flower arrangements. Ah, here we go. I know this is what how the little sailboat came with because I got the bird. The little fat bird. The little fat bird. I was hoping he'd be signed, but he is not. He used to have a sticker on him though. Once upon a time. He's cute. Better I might have to send him to my friends at Fat Bird Finds. Oh, yes, and this came with that too. A little koala bear paperweight. Is this one signed? No, he's iridescent, which is interesting. It's actually got like a gold backing on. It's not true iridescence, it's kind of faux iridescence. He almost looks like he's in the forest fires. Oh, yes. These are fun. What did I just drop? These are fun. I got these old Family Circle magazines, 1938, 1943. Like, I actually want to look through these. These are fun. Um, current, the current flickers, Mickey Rooney, Wallace Berry, or Beery. Oh, these are cool. The advertising. I'm going to have to figure out a way to like show this without risking tearing anything. Got some recipes in there. Look at the back. It's got a comic on it. These are fun. Spam. Man, that stuff has been around forever. The new Miracle Meat by Hormel. Newcomers at boot camp. Those guys out. Aren't these cool? Yeah, I know. You'll need to see them better. I got beech nut gum on the back. WC Fields on there. Who else is in here? Hold on. Premium crackers and Libby's. Let me see. I don't want to tear them. This is fun stuff. Now the magazines are like a gazillion times fatter than this and all ads. Oh, wow, they gave you like a whole Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday menus. I love that. Macaroni special, Brussels sprouts, buttered beets, maybe I don't like, sardine and lettuce salad. We eat so much different, don't we? Nobody eats like that anymore. So I got those, and I got another lot. I thought I had another lot. Oh, maybe I didn't win that one. This is Grace Kelly Paper Dolls. And they are in there. Look at that. I'm not sure what when that's from, but she's almost 
in, in perfect condition. She started to come apart, but never used paper dolls. Grace Kelly. Oh, I got some little golden books. Who remembers little golden books? I got Scuffy the Tugboat and Hansel and Gretel. These are in pretty good condition. A Year on the Farm. Noises and Mr. Flibbity Jib. Neat, see, uh, Misty with Thrifter Drunker Vintage Hunter, she'd be reading this one to you. So I, you know what? I need to have Misty on sometime and, and talk about. Oh, this would be a fun one to read. I might have to send this to Misty so she can read it. Somebody tell her I was talking about her. So we got four of those. 1940s for Grace Kelly, you think? That sounds possible. You know what? I'm warm enough now. I can. Ooh. See, now I bet you realize how loud that was. I don't do cold well. And I got to tell you, if I was in Texas right now, I would be freaking out. I would be freaking out. I could not. I couldn't do it. I couldn't be in the house without heat. Couldn't do it. Oh, I remember getting, I loved paper dolls. I loved paper dolls. All right, we've got another crackle glass piece. This is a candle holder, I believe, because it's got the inset to hold the candle inside. Don't know how old that is, but I would venture to say 70s. And I got a bunch of purple glass. See, got a couple of bud vases. This one might be Italian. That one's kind of nice. And we got this one. That one might be Italian too. And then we've got this one's more red than purple, but it's got the little little ball down at the bottom. It's actually a really nice color. And we've got something inside of that one. Oh, more little critters in a bag. More little critters. Let me go over there. And then another larger. This one, this one will probably go down to the booth. It's got a little chip on the rim. It's pretty. It's purple, but it's not worth shipping, unfortunately. Unless somebody really, really, really reached out to me and said they wanted it. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, all right, I'm throwing stuff that is not trash into my trash pile. Uh, I got some little Hawaiian postcards. Look how cute these are. Little Hawaiian kids. They are unused. They've been pencil marked on the back. Dole kids. Oh, they're the Dole kids. Honolulu, Hawaii. I don't even know what those are worth. I just thought they were cute and I didn't pay very much for them. So. Oh yes. And this came with that too. Another, the Lanai Suites, Hot Springs National Park, Arkansas. There we go. Looks kind of 1950-ish. And then, um, they sold these as coasters. These are not coasters. And I paid, I paid $6, but these are not coasters. Look how tiny that is. It's all good. So, you know, I'm always telling you, don't pay more for something than you aren't sure you can get your money back out of. I can get my six bucks back out of those. Okay. Uh, oh, more pictures. I got a whole nother little pile of instant ancestors. I'm not sure what I think about this guy. He's uh, a little scary to me. Abraham 
Skillman. No, yeah, Abraham Skillman. Interesting. Maybe we should look up and see who he was. And then we've got this little guy, Ida Skillman. Oh, I guess we have the Skillman family. So the Skillman family must have had money because you didn't get to take pictures like this without having money. Here's Mrs. Emma Skillman. Focus on Emma. Focus on Emma's face. There she is. Fancy. I always dreamed of being able to wear dresses like that. Okay, here's Abraham again. There we go. And this is cool that these are all labeled with who they are. Oh, my nails. This is Mary Emma Skillman. Mrs. Abraham Skillman. I guess back then you did not have a name. You were just the Mrs., right? She almost looks like she wants to smile, but not quite. And then we have Charles Augustus Skillman. This almost makes me want to find the uh, the Skillman family and uh, get these returned to them because that's a big chunk of legacy right there that they might want to have. They use prop clothing, you think so? I had not heard that from that long ago. Well, that's true. I would not want to be wearing one of those dresses in the summer here in Vegas, but I'm just saying. They always looked very, just something so elegant about women back then. I don't consider myself elegant. So I guess it was always kind of like that. I kind of like to be a little elegant. Uh, so like I said, lots of textiles. I'm going to be putting a bunch of the textiles together. We've got little hand stitched napkins, a whole set of them. Some of these were just cushioning for stuff. We've got some big, big doilies. Actually, I use some of these big doilies actually in my bedroom to put under lamps and things. I'm a big believer in doilies. I love doilies. I don't know how they got out of style. Oh, this is a little purse. Is it a little crocheted purse? Look at that. More. This is like a table runner or like a, a dresser scarf kind of thing here. It's a little rough on the edges. So for those that are new to my sales, I don't sell just one piece unless it's a really nice piece that I know several people want on its own. I try to lump a bunch of stuff together so that you who have niches in these things can resell it and make money. I have quite a few pairs of old gloves that will, I don't know if they'll be in tomorrow's sale or the next jewelry sale. Because those are good to ship with jewelry. I got these. Um, they're finished, but they've just never been put. Like this was made probably either as a wall hanging or for a little bench. And then I've got that one. And then I've got that one. So three pieces of needle point that just need to be finished. Some more napkins. Oh, a little, a little hanky. Thank you, Brain, for coming up with the word. Lots of hand embroidered stuff that I bought in groups and I will sell in groups. I don't list this stuff on eBay, but I know you guys do. Talk about easy to ship, though. Oof, maybe I should change my niche. Look at these little guys. How cute are they? You remember wearing gloves to church when you were little? Yep. I'm talking about being elegant. This is a pillow cover. Put a pillow inside of there. 
Okay, I'm getting this big stack in front of me that I could be putting in the box next to me. Another, I guess these were to put on the top of your dresser, right? So a dresser scarf, kind of, is scarf the right word though? Or just a dresser doily? Table runner is kind of a, a new term, I think, that we've coined. Oh, I've got stuff falling. Okay. You're just a piece of fabric. Uh, this is cute. This is almost looks big enough to be a little tablecloth, actually. Maybe? So that big. And it's it's got that. I know that was upside down. I know I'm showing it upside down. I don't know how else to do it. It's got all these little, all the way around, it's got those. So what is that? Looks like a pagoda, doesn't it? A pagoda with trees. And it's very, like that fine sheer linen. All right, I'm not gonna go through every single piece, but you can see I have several of these I wanna show you. This is a tablecloth. See if I can figure out how to show it to you. There's just a quarter of it. Lots and lots of, it's a cross stitch, I do believe. Is this cross stitch, you guys? When it's got the little crissy crossy stitches in it. I think that's what you call that. So that's a nice tablecloth. That's beautiful. All the roses. That's all hand stitched. And then doilies. I'm in like doily city here. Oh, wait. What is this? This is not. What is this? It's like a big gigantic collar, <laughs> but it can't be a collar because it's too big to be a collar. It's like just some round trim. I don't know what it will. Wait, what did they call it? Two yards of crochet edge. That's all they called it. Just crochet edge. All right. Well, there's that. More hand stitched and crocheted. Ooh, that's really dainty. What are they calling that? This is manufactured lace. It's what they're calling that. Go closer up. This is almost, almost reminds me of like gauze. <laughs> that's very interesting. I don't know what you call that either. More linens and then another. Oh, this one's really damaged though. Is there a way to get that out? What do you guys think? Can this be soaked in? I mean, it's not white to begin with or maybe it was supposed to be. What would happen if I soaked it in like a bleach? Could it hurt it? I don't know. Filet crochet pieces. Oh, okay. All right. Manufactured lace put craftsmen out of business turn of the century. Ah, I could see how that would happen. Then I got jewelry. There's one particular piece of jewelry that I want to show you. I got cufflinks. Oh, I got some little perfume bottles, including little cobalt blue perfume bottles. Hold on. There's a piece of jewelry that I'm so excited that I won. Yes, there it is. You guys see what that is? Oh, I love this. Don't look at my nails. Just look at the butterfly wing jewelry. Love that. It amazes me that they can make that out of a butterfly wing. And it's got, I, could you guys see, I had it upside down. Look, it's got a scene on it. Isn't that amazing? If I don't drop it. <laughs> so I got that. What is in here? Oh. 
this looks like an antique jeweler's loop. It's an antique jeweler's loop. It goes in this little leather case. Look at this little leather case that's all worn out because it squishes together and goes in there like that. How cute is that? What are you? They put the sticker right across. Do that. Little. It's an enamel on copper pin. Groovy. But, yep, those will go in a jewelry sale. All of the jewelry items end up in my live sales because I don't put jewelry on eBay anymore. I do, I do have some pieces of jewelry on eBay, um, but I'm taking them off and I'm selling them in a live sale. My eBay is really, my eBay is really changing because I'm getting more geared into providing sellers with items to sell. That's really where my heart is. Um, I would rather do that and make the YouTube videos than to worry about listing every item myself. So things are going to be changing. Um, and I'm going to be making reseller boxes and helping some of you get started, helping some of the women in the niche foundation get started. You have mixed feelings for the butterfly wing jewelry. They're disappearing in nature. We have, yeah, the, I, yeah, but I don't know. Um, I don't know what the process is, was behind catching or breeding or growing the butterflies to make the jewelry. Butterflies don't have a long life. Um, so I don't know the history there. I'd have to dig into that a little bit. I know I love going here in Vegas. Well, we haven't gone for a year, um, but they have something called the Springs Preserve and they twice a year have the butterfly habitat that you can walk through where they've got, it's gotta be thousands of butterflies and they land on you and they're fluttering around and you get close up and there's like 20 different species and it's really cool, it's really cool. Rachel really likes to go to that. Yep. All right, guys, that's uh, that's my big haul. And uh, oh, I didn't show you the big mistake. I promised I was going to show you the big mistake. <sighs> this is embarrassing, you guys. So, <laughs> so they separated these bookends into two lots. Let me just tell you what happened. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe I'm going to admit to this. So this is a, a made by JB. JB bookends sell for big money. So here's this one, right? It's great. Couldn't find the exact guy. And I thought, oh, this is good. Now he does have a little bit of a chip on his face, which I didn't notice when I was bidding. Marble bottoms bronze not solid <laughs> super heavy though okay so this is what i did i won this one all right that matches and i was super excited because i won this one for five dollars so now obviously i've got to get the other one anybody see my big mistake got no head it's got no head so after I won this one for five dollars I got into a frenzy thinking I had to win this one like what kind of a score did I just do that I got one of them for five dollars I got a little crazy and I paid 85 for this one so I got 90 bucks into these bookends that I'll be lucky probably to get 20 bucks out of them, but it happens. It happens. So yes, even after 20 some odd years of doing this, mistakes are still made. You just make money on all the other stuff and you have a write-off. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we all make mistakes. You got to be careful with auctions. You can get in the moment. You can get in the frenzy. You get a little blinded by what you're really looking at. And that happened to me. I don't know what was going on that night. I think I was telling Melissa, like, uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm buying too much stuff. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. Hello, Joyce. Yeah. So yeah, you're going to make mistakes in this business. Embrace them. Learn from them. Hopefully never make them again. Like I will be much wiser on the next auction. Oh, the other thing that I got. What did I pay for them? I can't show you. They're out on my porch still. I got the most amazing Gone with the Wind prints. They look like pastels, but they are prints. Um, they are scarlet and what's his name? Rhett? Is it Rhett, Rhett Butler? I, am I saying... I? I hate saying something and sounding stupid. I've actually never finished watching Gone with the Wind all the way through. I've I've watched it in pieces and never really seen like the whole thing. I can't find them on here. Here they are. Yeah, I paid 14 and $15 for these. And they're like these big poster size. I thought they were little when I was bidding. Um, they're amazing. I'll have to take a picture and show it. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'll put it in the community link so you guys can see them. Okay, good. And it sounds totally stupid then. All right. I've been on here for a while, haven't I? I um, have to go finish up some shipping. And then I'm going to pick up some yard, not yard sale estate sale purchases from the same lady I got stuff from before. She's been bugging me and bugging me. Come back, come back, come get the rest of this stuff. So I'm going to go get the stuff, give my little car a workout because one of them is a, a toll work table with a glass top. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll fit because the glass top comes off. Um, I see orange fused glass in sale. I can do that. I can do that. Fire and light comment. What was the fire? None of this was fire and light. None of, the, I'm pretty sure none of this was. Fire. The only one, no, none of this was fire and light. Did you think something was fire and light? What did you think was fire and light? The business name is more fitting. You guys are having conversations over there. Okay. I will leave you with that. Yes, I have found fire and light. I put fire and light in a mystery box. Just saying. All right. Oh, the little green tea lights. I know. No, 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 no. These are quite common. I think I see these like in every thrift store. They're not fire and light. Nope. Okay. With that, everyone, thanks for hanging out with me and going through the stuff. I wish you all could come over here now and help me put it all away and clean it up and get it ready to sell. <laughs> but it, I guess I'll use the teenagers for that. So with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we will see you tomorrow. All right, everyone. One o'clock tomorrow. See you there. Pacific time. See you there. Right. Bye.